a Freddy Fast yacht right there. Get out! Hey guys, I just got back from the new Five Nights at Fredericks movie. Uh, I I thought it was pretty good. I just wanted to recap it quick. So, uh, that's what this video is gonna be. It's just gonna be a quick recap of what happens in the movie, just in case you don't have the ten dollars to see it or you can't afford the uh. Peacock subscription. So the movie starts off with a close-up shot of a bed at which point the viewpoint raises and it's revealed to be recording on a hand cam it, This was kind of like a crazy choice by uh, Blumhouse and Universal that we see a bed with messy white sheets with pillows lazily strewn about This is when a voice calls out and it's revealed to be Frederick the animatronic So he looks like pretty nervous and he's asking if and he's asking if everything is all set for the shoot and the audience doesn't know exactly what like he's talking about and then four giant black guys walk in the frame and they're each like easily around like Frederick's size like they're pretty big which is made doubtly so when the camera pans down <sighs> this is where the movie becomes oddly experimental it's kind of it's like it's a seemingly odd decision by Blumhouse to include like half an hour where Frederick engages in explicit gay sexual acts with the four black guys Partly due to the film's supposed audience of adolescents and children. Because at the end of the day, like, Five Nights at Freddy's is like a kid's movie. But also due to how this doesn't really fit in the second half of the movie. So that after this porn segment, it's an abrupt cut to Frederick, now at the pizzeria, working his day job entertaining children. The recording style changes from being shakily hand-recorded to a more uh, refined, controlled, fixed camera angle, benefiting that of the official title. Uh, the last 40 minutes of the film follow the more predictable horror scheme of the franchise where nighttime befalls. <laughs> Frederick and his animatronic brethren attempt to kill the night guard and all is well in the morning, or so it seems, with the last shot being a cheesy sinister angle of Frederick with the dramato dramatic piano noise. Also, like Corey X. Kenshin... See my butthole? His character, like, he was in the trailers, it was kind of fucking crazy when he came out, and... That it's pretty crazy that um, um that that they're making him like an actual character in the lore. Like he's gonna be the night guard in the next one. He's gonna be fighting against a uh, toy Bonner and toy Chica and toy Frederick, and um they also they also foreshadow the nightmare animatronics such as uh, Nightmare Frederick and the Fredericals, the uh, the um the little guys in in Five Nights at Frederick's Four. All in all, it was a weird movie and one where we can't tell if. If it's just a le level of abstractness society can't currently comprehend or just pure dog shit, we don't really know. I don't think they can legally show this film, at least not without heavy viewership restrictions. So, yeah, consensus score is around 29%. And audience rating is at 87%. I, I would see it for the experience, you know. If you're a long-time Five Nights at Freddy's fan, uh, it, I mean, you should probably go see it because I think it's pretty good because it has all the fan service in it. Because, like... Springtrap shows up in, in it, and then Frederick Fazbear is there, and then all the Fredericks come in at one point. It's kind of like a Marvel scene where, like, Frederick is fighting Springtrap, and then, like, he's, and Springtrap's like, oh, you in what army? And Frederick's like, this army. And then Funtime Frederick walks in, Toy Frederick walks in, Golden Frederick, all of them, all the fucking Fredericks walk in, and then Springtrap goes like, mm -hmm. Uh, that army and then they all beat the fuck out of Springtrap. It's so fucking tight. Like I can't even fucking explain this. Like eighty seven percent was the audience score, but I swear to God, this movie is like a eighty, like ninety seven percent probably in in my opinion actually. Um, it's kind of whatever. Like you know, it's pretty good, but yeah, it's kind of a whatever movie. Like if you're not a big like, there's a lot of lore implications and stuff, and. And uh, if you don't really know the Five Nights at Frederick's lore, then you're not really going to get a lot of it. Because, like, Springtrap shows up in it, and then Frederick fights Springtrap. Like, they have a fucking Marvel battle. And, um, so basically, yeah, that's kind of it. See ya.